In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for HBr plus CaOH2, hydrobromic acid plus calcium hydroxide. First thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation. I have two bromides here and one here. I'll put a two in front of the HBr. Now I need to put a two here, and that balances the molecular equation. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. So if we look at this chart here of common strong acids and bases, this will help us. Here is HBr, hydrobromic acid. That's a strong acid. It's going to dissociate completely into its ions, so we put an AQ after it. Calcium hydroxide, that is a strong base, so it's also going to dissociate into its ions. So we're going to put aqueous after that. Bromides in general are soluble, and then water, that is a liquid. So we have our states. Next, we'll split the strong electrolytes apart into their ions. So we're talking about the complete ionic equation. Strong electrolytes have the aqueous after them. So hydrogens in group one, that is one plus. Bromine, that forms one minus ions. So we have two hydrogen ions, and I'll write aqueous at the end. I won't write that for each one right now, plus two bromide ions. Calcium, that's in group two, two plus, and the hydroxide ion, the whole thing is one minus. Good one to remember. So we have Ca2 plus, that's the calcium ion, and then we have two of these hydroxide ions, two OH minus. And those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. We said calcium was two plus, the bromide ion, that'll be one minus. So in the products, we have Ca2 plus, plus the bromide ion, and we have two of those. And then we have two water molecules. In net ionic equations, we do not split liquids apart into their ions, so we're going to keep that together. That gives us the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. They don't change, so we're not interested in them in our net ionic equation. Two bromide ions in the reactants, two in the products. Let's cross those out. We have the calcium ion here and in the products. Let's cross that out. And what's left is unique. And this is the net ionic equation for HBr plus CaOH2. Let me clean this up and write the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the net ionic equation for hydrobromic acid plus calcium hydroxide. One thing we can do, though, you see that there's a coefficient of 2 in front of each substance. Let's reduce that down to a lower number and have 1, 1, 1, although we don't write the 1. This is a more compact net ionic equation. You can see that charge is conserved. We have a positive and a negative. That gives us a neutral. Plus, we have 1, 2 hydrogens and then 1, 1 oxygen. So matter, that's conserved as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.